Welcome to r slash I don't work here lady, where we share stories about folks that go into other businesses and have irate customers mistake them for employees. And the first story is, if I drive around in an ambulance, I must have stolen it. First of all, English isn't my native tongue, so be kind. Not entirely sure if this belongs in this subreddit, but here goes. Some background info, I'm a 24 year old male, working for the ambulance for about 2.5 years now. My job involves fixing tech errors in the pretty technology advanced ambulances we own. Since our vehicles have wheels, they tend to drive around a lot, which means I have to follow up on them if any errors occur, fixing the errors once able. For this work, I do not drive my own car. Instead, my company supplies me with a small ambulance. It looks like an ambulance, but it's basically just a standard car with the same striping as a first responder ambulance. I do not save lives. As for clothing, I do not wear a standard ambulance outfit. I wear normal clothing. Again, I do not save lives. SLW, Stalker Land Whale, me. It started on a pretty normal Monday morning. Somewhere, someone managed to break something, which means I jump into my little car and start to venture towards the broken down ambulance. A 30 minute drive later, I arrive at the ambulance station. First thing that I notice is an old little car parked in front of the ambulance station. Standing besides it, a woman, Stalker Land Whale. Minding my own business, I park beside her and venture inside towards the ambulance that required maintenance. It was an easy fix, as I was done within 30 minutes. The antenna on the roof appeared to be crooked, so I replaced it immediately, resolving the problem. Having a cup of coffee with some colleagues before my drive back, I notice Stalker Land Whale still standing outside of the station. A bit weirded out, I ask my colleagues what's up. Apparently, Stalker Land Whale had been standing there for roughly an hour. Colleagues didn't think much of it, as that particular parking is public. Shaking my head in confusion, I pack up my gear and return to my car. And that's where things get weird. Stalker Land Whale is staring me down as I start filling the trunk of the car with various tools. Stalker Land Whale, what were you doing in there? Me, sorry? Stalker Land Whale, what were you doing in there? Me, um, my job, miss. Stalker Land Whale, so what is your job then? Me, I fix ambulances. Stalker Land Whale, but you're not wearing a uniform. Are you lying to me? Me, no, I need to go, miss. At this point, I just enter the car, lock the doors, and start the car to drive away. Stalker Land Whale now bends over to look inside and starts knocking on the window. I just drive off, as I had more places I needed to be that day. Of course, I look in my rear mirrors, noticing Stalker Land Whale getting into her tight fit car. Weird to say the least, but I simply cranked up the radio and drove to my second destination that day. After about 5 minutes in, I notice the car behind me. It's Stalker Land Whale following me. At this point, I'm freaking out. This crazy lady might be dangerous is the first thing that sparks my mind. Checking my rear mirror every second, I notice her calling someone. Is she calling up her whale buddies for backup? Trying to calm myself, I try to focus on the road ahead, figuring it could be a coincidence she's driving behind me. To be honest, it's really the only decent road around towards my destination, and it could be she needed to go there as well. How wrong I was. Arriving at my second destination, Stalker Land Whale is still in hot pursuit as she parks directly behind me, blocking my car. I get out and raise my arms in a what are you doing manner. She gets out of her car, the suspension of her vehicle creaking a song of screaming infants as they reset to their original position. Walking closer to me with an outstretched finger, she begins her banter. Stalker Land Whale, you stole that ambulance. Me, what do you want about? I'm an employee. Stalker Land Whale, you stole it and the police are coming. Me, you called the police? What is wrong with you? Stalker Land Whale, don't you try to play the fool. Me, look here, only an employee of company name would have these. I show her my key bundle of badges and tags, which grants me access to the different buildings and stations we store our ambulances. She tries to snatch them out of my hand. Stalker Land Whale, you stole those too. Me, are you insane? Stalker Land Whale, give me those. At this point, I'm getting really frustrated and bail towards the building, lock the car remotely and use the tag to get inside, locking the door behind me as quickly as possible. There are no colleagues currently at this station. A quick look outside reveals Stalker Land Whale standing in front of the station, staring at the building. Not really knowing what to do, I call the internal number for control room, the place where 911 calls end up, and ask if they did dispatch a police squad. They did. Quickly explaining the vehicle isn't stolen and that I had been followed by Stalker Land Whale results in the police squad arriving and immediately asking questions to Stalker Land Whale. 
I don't know what they talked about. All I saw was Stalker Landwell pointing at the building, clearly upset. Officer 1 pushing Stalker Landwell back to her car, and Officer 2 speaking into his radio monitor. Once Stalker Landwell left, I came out to talk to one of the officers, explain the situation and who I am. He stood there noting it all down before asking if I wanted to press charges. I told him no, as I wouldn't benefit from it. Plus, nothing bad really happened. Like an hour later, I got a call from management. The woman was apparently delusional, and my company would potentially press charges. The second story is, so you want this now, for free, and will have my job if I don't provide it? Finally one that doesn't involve my actual place of employment. I was doing my end of month shopping trip, picking up necessities and stuff for a barbecue I'm having this weekend. I had all the necessities and was heading to the frozen food and meat section. I saw that someone had put a box of chicken fingers in the snack food section and figured I'd put it back while I was there. I had just finished putting it away. The chicken section is beside the deli and went to walk away when I heard an excuse me with a super disgusted slash peevy tone. I turned around and was greeted by a heavy set woman. Before I could say anything, she started in on me. Heavy set woman, you need to get me some ham. Me, uh, the ham that's prepackaged is over there. Gestures behind me. You can go get it. Heavy set woman, well, no, I want it from the deli, and I'm in a hurry, so could you make it quick? Thanks. She looked down at her phone after that, so I just walked away to find some hamburger to make some delicious burgers. I picked up two packages and put it in my cart. As I was about to walk away, she ran my cart and began yelling. Heavy set woman, I asked you to do something for me, now do it. Me, okay, maybe you didn't see, but I'm in a red sweater and shorts. Employees here in a dark blue shirt and black pants. I don't work here, I can't help you. Heavy set woman, I saw you putting stuff away. You work here. Stop being lazy and do your effing job. Nearby employee sees and hears what's happening and sends a manager over, seeing his heavy set woman refuses to let me leave and continues screeching that it's my job to assist her. As she's still screeching that she'll have my job, the manager walks up. Manager, hi, I'm, and I'm the manager here. What seems to be the problem? Heavy set woman, your SH employee here refuses to do her effing job, that's the problem. Me, I've told you, I don't work here. I'm literally trying to do my shopping right now. Gestures the half full cart. Heavy set woman. You work here. I saw you putting stuff from that cart away. Stop lying. Turns to manager. I want her fired. She's lazy, incompetent, and has no right to talk to a customer like this. Manager. Well, I'm 100% sure she doesn't work here. So I can't. Heavy set woman cuts him off. Heavy set woman. In the most condescending tone. She was putting groceries away from the cart she's pushing. She works here. I know it. Don't treat me like I'm stupid. Fire her. Manager looks me up and down. Me. I don't work here. Can I please go and finish my shopping? Heavy set woman. Get me my ham and you can. I'm not paying for it either. It can come out of your check. Condescending tone again. If you get one after being fired, that is. Manager. Okay, look. She doesn't work here. She is most definitely not in our uniform. Gestures to himself. Please stop harassing our customers or you'll be escorted out. Heavy set woman. Stop saying she doesn't work here. Me. Well, I don't work here, so... yeah. The manager was getting fed up and moved her cart from mine so I could walk away and finish my shopping. I heard Banshee-like screaming through the store for the next five minutes or so. Don't know what came out of it, but when I left the store there were three cop cars sitting outside. And the third story is... No lady, this is a barber shop, not a gown rental shop. A short story. This happened yesterday as I was about to get my hair cut. I was just sitting down and on my phone waiting for my turn at our local barber shop. Suddenly, this lady enters and I look at her. She looks around confused, then she notices me. Lady, where are the gowns? Me, what? Lady, the gowns? I want to rent a gown. Me, sorry, but this is a barber shop. I waved my hand around so she could see the barbers and customers. They were staring at her. Lady, but there was a store here where you can rent gowns. Me, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I just want a haircut. Lady. How long have you been having your hair cut in this place? Me. A few years now. Lady. So you should know where the gowns are. Me. Lady, this is a barber shop. Do you see any gowns here? Lady leaves flustered muttering something to herself. Everyone at the barber shop looks at each other like what the heck just happened? Everyone then got back to doing their own thing and I got my hair cut. Hope you like these insane stories. If you have your own stories, please send them to me in the comments below. And if you want more stories, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Have a nice day!